hi hello namaste everyone so today in this video we are going to know about the composition of urine so urine mainly composed with about 91 to 96 percent of water and about 2.5 percent of organic compounds and 1.5 percent of inorganic substances so the composition of urine it changes based on many factors for example when there is less water in the body then they excrete very less urine and highly concentrated urine why because when there is less water in the body enzyme sorry hormone adh or vasopressin is released that initiates the reabsorption of water from the primary urine so that leads to formation of highly concentrated urine in the same manner if those who are taking high amount of uh, fluids or juices or uh, uh, vegetables or fruits along with water so in their body uh, there may be more water so to excrete that excess of water here adh won't releases so that leads to formation of diluted urine so in this condition the people release a more diluted urine and they go for urination frequently and this may the quantity of you quantity of water in the urine may changes according to the environmental change changes for example during the summer the excess of water which is present in our body so they come out in the form of uh, sweat so that's why in the form of urine the quantity of water decreases and during the winter season we urinate more we go urination frequently why because so during the winter season the rate of perspiration is less that means uh, uh, we lose very less amount of water through sweat that's why most uh, amount of the water is excreted through urine that's why we go urination frequently during the winter season right look at this chart we can find the different colors here different color variations in this picture so by looking at the color of the urine we can know that whether our body has sufficient of sufficient amount of water or not the first three strips so pale yellow color to amber generally healthy persons urine or well hydrated persons urine will be uh, from pale yellow color to amber so if our urine is between these three then that indicates our body has sufficient amount of water if our bird uh, urine has a dark yellow color to brown that indicates our body has very less amount of water then our, our urine consists of about 2.5 percent of organic compounds among them urea uric acid urochrome creatinine and some hormones oxalates and very less amount of uh, glucose may present so among this the urochrome among this this urochrome is responsible for the color of our urine so uh, our urine will be uh, light or pale yellow color to amber so for that this urochrome is responsible for that this is formed this is formed as a result of uh, 
the urochrome formed as a result of breakdown of hemoglobin in the liver and excreted through urine even the quantity of these organic compounds may changes uh, from person to person the people who are taking more proteinaceous food so in them yeah, sorry in their urine we can find more urea and the people who are taking carbohydrates in large quantity so we can see hike of sugars in their urine and the finally inorganic substances so inorganic substance constitute about 1.5 percent of the urine it includes mostly chlorides and phosphates and sulfates of uh, sodium potassium calcium along with that in traces iodine and magnesium also we can find okay so this is about the composition of urine so urine is a pale yellow in color and there are about 91 to 96 percent of water and 2.5 percent of organic compounds such as urea uric acid urochrome creatinine hormones oxalate and glucose and along with that 1.5 percent of inorganic substances are present in our urine so like uh, this is about uh, composition of urine so generally uh, our urine has a, a slightly acidic slightly a slightly acidic in nature but later uh, it converts to it converts to a slight uh, alkaline okay so thank you